Hi. You must be wondering what I'm doing in a bunker. Yeah, that's the future, guys. The world is gone and all heroes have been killed. As I have plenty of time here, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about that wonderful time that was the beginning of everything. Everyone knows where the heroes come from, right guys? It happens when a radioactive little bee bites the mommy. Or maybe the daddy dumps a radioactive seed into mommy's belly. Or suddenly, a radioactive stork appears in the middle of the night with a present. But if none of this works, mommy can always get inside of a radioactive gamma ray machine and explode. That's right, nuclear energy was the great scientific advancement of the 50s, and that's why it was the biggest inspiration of a whole generation of heroes. The heroes of your generation probably will emerge because they've seen many kitten memes on Facebook, they've been using the deer filters on Snapchat, or they've been spending half of their time playing Pokemon Go. People always like to compare heroes to the gods of Greek mythology, but I always thought they had a lot more to do with drag queens. I have to look like a fucking snake to be in this stupid supervillain group. I'm clearly only wearing my cousin's bandage dress, but it was either this or that long train wedding dress that you are wearing. What? This is a snake's tail. It's an accessory in my supervillain suit. It used to be less about heroism and more about the show back in the days. Half of them would use wonderful, stupendous, or glorious as their own name. Not to mention that they wouldn't leave the house without wearing a nice leotard. Is it really necessary for us to wear these leotards? They're just really tight. A cape, colored gloves, and high boots. That's not exactly the best way to avoid being recognized on the streets and hide your identity. Yeah. As time goes by, I discover that most of them were not hiding just their identities. I can't believe I'm doing this! Quick, 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 quick! In case you're curious, the world didn't end because of any bomb or religious war. It was the politically correct militants who wiped out the planet with all their Facebook posts full of bullshitty comments. Wait, are those dreadlocks? This is cultural appropriation, man. What are you talking about? My parents are from Jamaica. Are you talking about culture or genetics? Your point is interesting, but I was thinking, why don't you argue this? Okay, it wasn't because of them. It was because of a bomb in the middle of a religious war, but even if there was no bomb, I'm pretty sure they would have done it anyway. So, it's pretty much the same. It's getting inside my nose. That's not right. Seriously, that can't be legal. A guy wearing a leotard shows up at 3.30 a.m. and squirts us with this disgusting thing that was inside of him. What do you think he is? A judge? What were you expecting? With great power comes great responsibility. Everyone knows that. You know who doesn't know that? The guys who have these great powers and spend the day fighting with other guys who also have great powers. That must be why they have secret identities, actually. So they don't have to give their insurance contact number after destroying half the cars in New York. They're probably the most irresponsible guys, to be honest. Yeah, now the wall thing is kind of bad. Usually when we save a mutant, that just becomes a little detail that no one cares about. But now, I'm feeling really guilty about that. Bernard, I'm gonna be arrested! You're underage! Just don't be a fucking snitch and keep that ass mouth of yours shut! Big Bang, I'm at the movies. Can I call you in a bit? No! No, you cannot! We have to go save a fucking planet! Do you know why I really miss the old days? Because I wasn't the only guy still alive on the planet. I don't know if I ever told you, but I wasn't always a lone wolf. I was part of a very successful superhero group once. There was Jonathan, who took care of licensing the action figures, Ricky and Karina for merchandising, Deborah, who took care of social media, Karen, who took care of our press office and got us some branding on Instagram, and we had the heroes, too. The... No, oh, what was the girl's name again? Um, there was a little dude too. Now, oh, what was his name? I cannot believe this. Is this a marketing meeting? I thought our fight was to save mutants. Of course it is. And what is the most efficient way to do this? Changing human perception from the mutant threat to I must buy this emo bear Funko or my collection won't be complete. I have a Funko action figure? Well, guys, I hope you've learned a bit about the golden age of heroes. Actually, I have a lot more to tell you. 
And who knows, maybe in the following years I can do this again. So, if you guys by any chance are not just my imagination, since I'm obviously alone here in this bunker on a dying planet, see you next time. <laughs>